Hello! We are going to talk about kites today. And kites were invented in China. And I want to show you a few things from some wonderful books that I have. So this book is called A for Asia. And when we get to the letter K, it says K is for kites fluttering in the wind, dragon wings, bats and butterflies dance in the skies where everyone flies prized kites. Kite flying is a national pastime in Korea, but it is also popular in other Asian countries. In Malaysia, children have kite fighting contests where the object of the game is to bring an opponent's kite down to the ground. So if you look at this image, can you see the children flying their kites? And where would we be in this picture? It feels like we are up in the sky closer to the kites because the kids are so small. What shapes do you see in these kites? What shapes do you see? Hmm. I see some diamond shapes, circles, rectangles, triangles, like a half circle. You might even see some other shapes. So I'm gonna come back to this page in a moment. We're gonna be drawing some kites today. And the reason you're not gonna make a real kite is you probably don't have the materials because some kites that you might buy in the store would be made out of plastic and, and some sort of fabric. And kites that would be made um, by an artist might be made out of you know light wood and you would need glue and different materials. So we're gonna be doing a drawing. Now this book is called Japanese Celebrations. So I want you to notice that kites are being talked about in a lot of different Asian countries. So right here we have the Japanese word for kite flying and the Japanese characters. Here's a little kite. You can see the string. Now here it has been decorated and painted with a face. And so these are other traditional New Year's pastimes. So for the Lunar New Year, Kite flying might be an activity that they do in Japan. And the last book, look at these kites. This is my favorite. This is a book called D is for Dragon Dance. And in this one, when we go to K for kites and L is for lanterns. So they Chinese people believe that flying kites and lanterns light scare away evil spirits. Now look at these fantastic kites. So some kites can be more simple and then some can be more complicated and detailed. Look at the beautiful bird with all the feathers. Look at the butterfly with all the designs. Oh, this looks like a mask and look at the goldfish. So we're going to come back to this. I'm going to start off by doing a more simple kite shape in my drawing and you can add people to it. You can add different things. Now I've got some different paper here. You can use colored paper. You can use white paper. Um, I'm going to start with this green paper and I love the little children in here. I think I will have some of some little kids flying their kites. So you've got a couple choices. One, is you could start off with a big shape and your whole picture could just be about that kite. In this picture, I'm going to make it where the kites are flying. So I'm gonna do maybe three kites up here. Now I'm using Sharpie so that you can see, but of course use pencil so you can erase any mistakes. And I'm gonna have mine kind of flying off to the side like that as well. So the first one is I'm gonna start with a mountain or an upside down letter V. And then I'm gonna connect this with kind of a skinnier V. So I'm gonna go down and up. And I've made my diamond shape. Yours might not look just like that, that's okay. Then I wanna have maybe a rectangle one. And so here I'm gonna do a rectangle one. Maybe this one's flying higher, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Oh look, it went right off the edge, that's okay. I'm gonna put that right there because really, if I went and I took a picture of kites flying, would all the kites fly to the center of my picture? No, some of them would be going off the edge. Okay, and then here I think I'll have, what about the half circle kite? I'm gonna do the half circle kite. So I'm gonna make a hill and then I'm gonna connect that with a line. Okay, so I've got my three kites, <coughs> pardon me. And now I'm gonna add my little designs and little streamers. So those might be these long pieces here. So let me look around. now. Do I have to use an idea from this page? No, I could come up with something different, but I'm, I'm liking some of these designs. I love how they have 
these little zigzag off of there, but I might put them on this one. So I'm gonna do a zigzag line and then another zigzag line. It's kind of reminding me of like shark teeth. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm liking some of the different circles. I like the stripes. I might have my stripes on this one, except I'm gonna do a skinny stripe and then a thick stripe, skinny stripe. And then I think I'm gonna add a circle here. And then maybe another little stripe down there. Okay, and for my half circle, I might make a baby half circle and I might do lines coming out kind of like the, like rays coming off of the sun. Okay, and I definitely need something here, don't I? Hmm, I don't know if you can see here, I've got this little whirly twirly line, the little spiral. So I might start in the middle and I might make a big spiral going all the way out. It's like a lollipop kite. <laughs> do you have to do those designs? No, you can make them however you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my kite up here because this one would be my highest one in my mind. So I'm gonna make a long streamer and I just go out, go over, and come right back. Can one, can it go behind one? Sure, this one's actually gonna go right off the edge of my paper, woo! Okay, for this one, that's gonna go off the edge of the paper too. I want some long, long streamers because those are gonna fly in the wind, right? What kind of weather do you have to have for a kite flying day? What kind of weather? What do you need? You need wind. Look at this. Oh, this kind of reminds me of like a lizard tail. Maybe this is some kind of, this is gonna pretend like it's a little reptile, little lizard. So maybe those are like the little feet. Doesn't that remind you of that? Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna put two pieces off the side so it's like eyes. Ooh. And you can do all kinds of colors. I like it on the green paper. All right, so now, I'm gonna draw little people at the bottom. You don't have to have little people at the bottom. You might have, um, you, like I said, you could fill the whole page with kites. You might just have one big kite you wanna do. So I'm gonna draw little people at the bottom. And I love this little girl here because I know I can draw that with little shapes. So I'm gonna start with a circle, boop. I'll go down, down, and across, kind of like a little trapezoid shape. And the arms are up, 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 up. No stick figures here. And then I'm just gonna draw little little circles for the hands, that's fine. She has a little braid coming down. So I'm just gonna do a little braid coming down and then her dress comes down like this, boop, boop, down. And then just two little, little ovals for the feet. Okay, and now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, then this one, I'm gonna draw a little nose like the person is looking up a little hair here. And actually, this is gonna be a little girl too. Do kind of like little hair on the side. Maybe she's got little buns. And I'm gonna do the same top just like this. Maybe two arms just like that. And then she might have little pants on. Doot, doot. Okay, and then just little lines for the hair. And I could add little patterns. On this picture, it almost looks like they're on maybe concrete or sand, because it's all just kind of one color. It's not like green grass. So I don't, maybe I don't need to draw um, a little line or anything like that. It can just look like this. So now I just have to attach my little strings and swoop, 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 swoop. I'm gonna swoop this up and this one's gonna go Gonna skip over the sky and this one's attaching to this so I'm gonna attach a few little strings just like that okay and then maybe she's got this kite over here so I can draw the line this one might be going in front so I might draw this line going right to this one that is fine and that's good and then maybe this one belongs to someone going off the edge. They're over to the side, we can't see them. And I could draw other things over here, right? I could draw a little stand, maybe there's an ice cream stand. I could draw another person. Um, maybe I could draw a little family having a picnic. I could draw the sun up in the sky. Maybe this is at the beach and I'm gonna draw a line. Like if this was at the beach, I could draw a line back here. 
And then these could be like waves coming in. I'm just gonna draw some waves. And then this is the ocean. Could I put a little boat out here? I could. Could I put a shark tail? A shark tail, a shark fin? Of course. Okay, so there's my kite drawing looking at these lines and shapes. And then I'm gonna look at this page. So I want you to be inspired. If you have an animal or an idea, or maybe you wanna do something having to do with a flag, you could do something like that, a bug one. I'm just gonna real quick draw this goldfish. So if you're gonna make your artwork where the focus is the kite, I'm just gonna draw it on this sheet like this. And what am I gonna start off with? Actually, I'm gonna start off with the body shape here. And this almost looks like a leaf. So it's gonna go curve line, curve line, kind of coming together. I'm just gonna make it like a leaf shape, just like that. And then at the top, I need two big circles. Doot, 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 doot. And they put black right in the middle. So two baby circles. And then for these little fins, it's gonna go out and back. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on the other side so that it matches doesn't have to be perfect. And then for the tail, I'm gonna go out and down, out and down. And then look, I have to go up, boop, up on the other side, boop. This looks like what letter? Looks like a W. Down, up, down, up. So there's the body. So sort of like an oval, letter Vs, O's, you got a W in there. So a lot of letters you already know. And then if I go in, I'm gonna add a little C, a backward C, and then I can just turn this and make lines coming down. And I can turn this side, do the same thing. Okay, and then for the body, oh, they have a line going right down the middle, all the way down. And then you can see the little scales. They've got two little dots here, and then look, curved lines. Those are just like little smiles. Oh, it looks like it's smiling now. Smile, another one, another one one more and then for the scales those are kind of hard to draw but they're really just a letter u or you could do like a wave line so you can do go up and then make a u then make a u then make a u you can go right through that line u u u now the tricky part about the scales is now you have to jump when you make your u you're almost jumping from here to here so you jump and connect them one look right that connect it jump 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 Sometimes I think it's easier to flip it around and pretend that I'm jumping on top of all these rocks. So I just go jump, I jump to the next one, I jump to the next one, I'm leaping, I'm a little frog, there I go, I keep going. So you can just keep leaping to make this. Now where else could you find scales? What else could you draw scales like this on? How about a lovely mermaid swimming in the sea? Oh, very good. Obviously we have our fish here. What else? What about a slithering snake? Whoop, I made that U really big. Now I'm getting a little bit off. I'm just gonna fill this in here. It's getting a little bit harder because they're close together. I'm just gonna fill it with U's. Snakes and lizards. Some of these even look like feathers. Okay, and then for the tail, you can just do straight lines if you want. You could do stripes going one way. I'm gonna make it a little simpler. They have a ton of stripes in there. I'm just gonna make them a little bit thicker. Don't worry about them being perfectly straight. I'm not, mine are not perfectly straight. But I am going from one end to the other all the way, connecting those two places. Now on theirs, they kind of color that all sort of a reddish orange. What if you did a pattern like orange, red, orange, red? Or your goldfish doesn't even have to be orange. If you did a goldfish, you could do purple, blue, purple, blue. It could be a mermaid fish. It could be a rainbow fish. Look at that. All right, so there's my goldfish kite. I could do whatever colors I want. I can make a background. I could put clouds back there like it's flying. I could add a little, some little strings coming off the edge. Isn't that cool? And I might write kite on here. Kite, K is for kite. I hope you enjoy creating your kite drawing however you decide to draw it. Just be inspired by all the different designs. You can even look up other kite designs. They have everything. Good luck.